नॉर्मल पल्स हाइपर काइनेटिक और बाउंडिंग पल्स वॉटर हैमर और कोलैप्सिंग पल्स पल्सेस पार्वस और लो वॉल्यूम पल्स पल्सेस पार्वस एक तारडस डायक्रोटिक पल्स एनाक्रोटिक पल्स पल्सेस बिस्फेरियंस पल्सेस अल्टरनांस पल्सेस बाइजेमिनस पल्सेस पेराडॉक्सेस Pulse is a pressure wave generated by the left ventricular contraction, which rapidly moves along the arterial tree, distending their walls and creating a palpable impulse. It is best felt in the carotid and radial arteries. This is normal pulse. Concentrate only on the upward movement of the finger. and note the amplitude of the normal percussion wave now we will study the patterns of the pulse felt in different diseases hyperkinetic or bounding or high volume pulse occurs due to high pulse pressure which may be due to increased stroke volume as in aortic regurgitation or after exercise or due to low peripheral resistance as in fever severe anemia thyrotoxicosis or cirrhosis note the high amplitude of the pulse raising the finger more than normal this is hyperkinetic or bounding pulse an extreme of bounding pulse is water hammer or collapsing pulse or corrigan's pulse a very quick rising and quick falling pulse it is best felt in the forearm with arm raised and is seen in severe aortic regurgitation note the rapid upstroke and immediate rapid descent this is the collapsing or water hammer pulse pulse sparvus is a low volume pulse seen in states of hypovolemic shock and aortic stenosis here the amplitude or degree of expansion of the pulse is very small this is pulse parvus or low volume pulse pulse parvus et tardus this is a low volume pulse which rises slowly and falls slowly note the slow rise and the slow fall and the low amplitude this is pulse parvus that is low amplitude at tardus that is slow rising seen in severe aortic stenosis it is usually associated with a systolic thrill in the carotids now we will come to twice beating pulse that is there is an additional wave felt in addition to the normal percussion wave in each cycle in diacrotic pulse there are two beats per cycle one in systole that is normal percussion wave and one in early diastole due to high vascular resistance producing an exaggerated diacrotic wave watch the finger this is diacrotic pulse which beats once in systole and once in diastole immediately after s2 anacrotic pulse seen in severe aortic stenosis 
it is a low amplitude slow rising pulse that is pulses parvus with anachronic wave felt on the upstroke of the pulse observe this anachronic pulse note the anachronic wave on the upstroke of the pulse that is before the main percussion wave pulses disperians pulses disperians has two peaks both in systole percussion wave and tidal wave due to ejection of rapid jet of blood through narrow aortic wall percussion wave is more prominent in hocm while the tidal wave is equal or more prominent in as plus ar now we shall see some other patterns of pulse pulses alternans here we feel alternate high volume and low volume pulse due to alternate normal and weak ventricular contractions seen in left ventricular failure note the alternate high and low volume pulse though the rhythm is normal this is pulses alternans pulses bigeminus a normal pulse followed by a premature beat that is early occurring pulse and then a compensatory pause commonly seen in digitalis toxicity clinically it is felt as two close pulse waves followed by a pause pulses paradoxes if the pulse volume significantly decreases during inspiration it is termed as pulses paradoxes this is due to increased right ventricular volume during inspiration with bulging of interventricular septum into left ventricle causing reduction in its volume and cardiac output pulses paradoxes is seen in cardiac tamponade constrictive pericarditis and superior vena cava obstruction back to normal pulse as we come to the revision section hyperkinetic or bounding pulse water hammer or collapsing pulse pulses parvus or low volume pulse pulses parvus et tardus diacrotic pulse anacrotic pulse pulses disperians pulses alternans pulses bigeminus pulses paradoxes